clock is right waiting on Bill <clears throat> and it looks like this out right now it's dark camera can't even focus stay tuned and see where we're going <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to a ride. We are actually up here at Pickett State Park, not far from Big South Fork. Um, we left it, left the house at 5.30 this morning. And if you look behind me, there's 20 Jeeps. And we're fixing the wheel all day long. So, anyway, come hang out, see what we're gonna get into may have some weather we don't know uh, back home they were saying 86 percent up here they're saying 20 percent right now so who knows they don't but uh it's supposed to be just a nice mild ride through the woods um mud maybe that's it but nothing real technical just a nice ride but it's windy uh, coming up here, the wind was just horrendous. Of course, driving these square boxes. Most of these guys camped out last night. Me and Bill decided to drive up this morning, drive back home tonight. But it was it was horrendous driving up the interstate. Winds near 25, 30 miles an hour, and driving that square box, it just blowing the hell out of us. But uh, fix to get on the trail. Doing a driver's meeting right now. I'm not a driver. We're good. See you in a little bit. We won't Just go down. You're going down, you're going down, you're going down. Oh, it's straight down. Passenger a little. Passenger a little. Oh. Yeah, we got passenger. Down. Passenger. Hard passenger. Hard passenger. There you go. I'm trying to, We're down. I'm trying to keep you off your bumper. Sorry. <laughs> it's just a bumper. You got two of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll be all right. <laughs> First stop here at Pickett was the Mineral Pond. This is a beautiful place. I can just imagine this thing either in the beginning of spring or the middle of fall. It has to be gorgeous here.
Yeah. <laughs> You want to be at Brian? Um, yeah, go straight ahead. Okay. Oh. Um, you might have to back up and do just like you did, bump it right over. You're dragging down. Yeah, my. Yeah, that's where I was heading. There you go. Go, 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 go. Damn it. <laughs> I know, dude. I had it. <laughs> right, hang on, Patrick. There you go. What's up, everybody? Okay. So I'm hoping I'm catching some of this stuff um, pretty gnarly, pretty gnarly uh, trail. Um, and it's not getting any easier for them guys back there. It's almost better to be in the front. We were only two Jeeps in the back, but now we're almost, well, the third Jeep in the front. And there's more that way. But that was that, that was gnarly. Pretty gnarly. Alright, we'll be back in a little Alright, we're stopped. We were going down, fixing to go down right there. There's already two that's gone down it and they're stopped. Because one ripped a complete bed system off of their truck. The other one just about ripped their top off their Jeep. And as Bill said, we're not doing that. So, this little gentle ride we were supposed to be on has turned into quite the adventure. Uh, let me show you real quick. We'll get up in Bill's Jeep. Look at some of the stuff. I mean, we We've been through some stuff this morning. Um, some of the other Jeeps running around here. Pretty tough rigs. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what the situation is down there. They're asking for help. I can't get down there. But, <clears throat> anyway, um, I don't know. We'll see where this leads us. At this point, it's pretty much a stop, and probably repair, and gather up. So when he went here, he got it. It ain't that bad of a hill. No. It's just, I think when he flopped it over, it just hit it, it, hit it square, just and right. And it probably wasn't even enough to really do a whole lot. It just bounced it into the tree. And then you kind of got to drag it. Oh, yeah, yeah and that's what you heard. Oh. Okay, this was a little obstacle going towards the cave. Now, there is a uh, bypass to the left you can take, or, well, if you want to try it, you can do this, but keep in mind, that Jeep sitting there is riding on 40 inch tires, about a six inch lift, and where I was standing at the beginning, you could only see the top of the Jeep. That's how deep this 
crevice is. Pretty impressive, some of these guys getting in and out of that thing. Alright guys, let me show you where we're at now. Look at this. Well, he made it up. Isn't this cool? Hey, here we go. No, he's behind it. Well, parked up under this overhang. He goes way up under there. But, anyway. We're not much longer here. We've got a big uh, rock ledge there climbing over here. You can see it from here, but it's just right up there. This is wild.
All right, guys, we'll bang a little bit. This might be interesting. There's time to come now, just that last little climb at the top of the hill is getting a couple people. Pushing him too. Golly, you just ain't got the real basic over. Ooh. What? I don't know. Oh, shit, I want to go. Go, go, go. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Keep it close. <laughs> I'm having to hold the GoPro close because I almost lost it. Say hi, Bill. What's up? Had a good day. Hell of a day. Coming back. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video from Pickett State Forest. Um, want to do two things first. Want to thank Bill for sacrificing the Jeep once again. Um, this one's pretty rough in some places, uh, but we had some nice scenery um, the cave, the pond, the mineral pond, and the trails in general were just in the overlook. Uh, all the trails were just, you know, were spectacular. Um, it was a little late to go up and see f leaves. They pretty much have fallen. I mean, you can see the leaves on the ground there already. Uh, but I also want to say, Brian, thanks from Music City 4x4 for putting this ride together. Uh, he limited it to 20 Jeeps, and I think one more or two more, and it had been too many. Um, but we had a great day. Um, you know, outside of Brian's Jeep getting beat up pretty bad and there was another one that got fenders beat up but for the most part I mean everybody came out pretty well unscathed um, and it was just overall good ride fun day there's a lot more trail systems there that we than what we could touch we started that ride at nine o'clock in the morning and did not finish until the sun was going down at it was right at uh, well, I mean, it was sundown, and I'll throw that picture in of the sun going down over the horizon as we were coming out. And it was about um, 6.30, 7 o'clock when we were coming out of there. So we rode all day, and not to mention we left the house at my house at 5.30 um, yesterday morning, Saturday morning, and I was, I was feeling it when we got home. I was tired. I was done. But... Uh, Anyways, that's it for this one. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please come back and watch more. I thank you. I appreciate it. And be prepared. See you on the next one.